What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my last play of the 2K Showcase mode in 2K16. It is time for the bonus matches, the first of which being a Stunning Steve versus Ricky Steamboat. Let us get right down to business today. Bash at the Beach 94 United States Championship. This I actually started watching wrestling in 94. However, I started watching the WWF in 94, not WCW. Uh, and so I am not really acquainted with that time period of WCW at all. Um, I don't know anything about it. So. This should be a bit of a history le le history le lesson for me. Uh, I do enjoy that the game kind of has that weird, like, 90s film grain. Uh, to kind of, you know, make it feel, uh, more at home, but... Uh, Fittingly, it should be in 4-3. It should be in a square, not be... Like, it wasn't widescreen, but they didn't film it widescreen. Uh, and... I don't know... Like, I'm... Uh, I would imagine that in 94, Jim Ross was still calling the action in WCW. But obviously, Jerry Lawler was not... An announcer in WCW, so it would have been like Shivani. It would have been uh, who was announcing in '94 in WCW. There was n a number of names that you 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 might have heard of that off the top of my head I can't I can't think of right now. But here is Stunning Steve with hair, which is fantastic. He's gonna do the little camera thing there and all that good stuff. And certainly Howard Finkel was not announcing WCW guys to the ring, ever. Howard Finkel was WWF employee number one, most famously. And he's never worked anywhere else. So, the Fink uh, would, not, would, not, would not have been calling this. But, you do what you can uh, with this stuff in video games, you know. It's just, it's kind of what it is. A good old-fashioned fight. His name's Finley. He likes to fight. Alright, so. I'm gonna assume this is set up like the rest of... Yep. Set up like the rest of it is. Uh, I wonder if... Uh, I mean, like, like obviously it's a different character model, but I, I wonder if the moveset is that much different. That seems the same. So... Very curious as to how they handle this stuff. Like, are they just that lazy and give him the same move set? Let me try something. All right, yeah, that's different. All right, he's got a different taunt there. Oh, too fast. There we go. Oh. So I do like uh, when when it comes to uh, when when it comes to. Thinking, thinking, thinking. When it comes to attention to detail, uh, the fact that they actually have the WCW referee in the bow tie, I appreciate that. Like, obviously, the the arena is accurate, but having the accurate referee, uh, that goes a long way to your presentation. Uh, oh, God, escape the sleeper hole. What kind of fucking shit is that? Escape the... I don't like the submission system in this game as, as we... As we uh, as we have established here, I am not a fan of the submission system. I escaped it. Okay. Pin Steamboat. So, not having watched uh, this era of Austin's career, I have to wonder what is his signature and what is his finisher. Because I don't actually know. Uh, so, we're going to try to get that to happen if we don't manage to lose to Steamboat here. Uh, that'd be nice. Getting better at the reversal stuff. Uh, getting better with the timing on that. So, that's something. Thinking. Yeah, Bulldog. Okay. We're almost at where we need to be here. Oh. I don't know if we need to be here. Okay. So, do I have a standing signature? Like, what is my... There we go, signature. What do we got here? Oh, the good old pile driver. Okay. 
the band of maneuver you can't do anymore. Uh, I don't want to dirty pen him. I, I, I want to see what his finisher is. Uh, it's not that. Not that. Hmm. Is it running finisher? Nope. Not not a running finisher. I got nothing. I don't know what his finisher is. Uh, so that's fun. I didn't I didn't watch it during that era, so how the hell would I have known? Uh, let's just try pinning him. See what happens here. All oh, right, a cutscene, of course. I would imagine at some point it will tell me to do, you know, what, what I need to do here for this match. Does he have an enlarged heart like, like, like X-Pac? I like that they put a subtitle for Lawler's little, yeah, like, that's funny. North Kakalaki. Dragon Slayer. That's funny. Yep. Jumping on him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Stun gun. I've never heard it called a stun gun. But then again, you know, it's the 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 amount of you can only you can only keep so much wrestling knowledge in your head at all times. Uh, eventually, it all just kind of starts to leak out. No, no tombstone reversal. Reversal again. Another damn. These guys are just doing it. Just doing it. That was so slow. Careful now. Don't want to break his damn neck. But he still got up. He's gonna pull the ref another way. Yep. Dirty pin, no. The dirty pin. Yeah. The ref didn't see it. It didn't happen. The ref didn't see it. It did not happen. And then right back to the menu. So like no video package stuff, none of that. So I guess we'll do one more, and that'll be uh, Stone Cold versus Savio Vega. All right, WrestleMania 12, the Million Dollar Champion, aka the Ringmaster, aka Steve Austin, versus Savio Vega, who would go on to form Los Bariquas. Uh, I thought him coming out as the Ringmaster, I was not super impressed with, but then again, my knowledge of DiBiase was only ever as a manager. Like I wasn't watching back when he used to wrestle. Like, I, I only ever knew him as manager he was the guy who brought out the fake undertaker uh and he had you know his belt and everything else but like i never actually watched him like back then had never actually watched him work matches so i was like who is this like balding guy they're bringing out with DiBiase, who's the ringmaster which was a dumb name i mean if you've heard Austin's podcast, obviously there are much dumber names that he could have gotten uh, that they had for him, so he got lucky there. 
And I remember that Savio Vega and Stone Cold had a strat match at like an in your house. That's, that's like my, my one memory of this time period from these two guys. Well, not, not their Mania match, it was their strat match. Because I had not seen one uh, at that point, bef like before that. Because I was, you know, I just I started watching in 94, so there are there were there were all kinds of match types that I had never seen before. Uh, and certainly we have no theme music here because obviously I don't want to get flagged by things on YouTube because of content ID, etc, etc. So, my knowledge of this match, and, and, you know, I've seen most manias, like, once, you know, there, there are... My, my, me my memories of this is pretty slim. Uh, so, this is Stone Cold 97, uh, which kind of encompasses that era of... Stone Cold, so uh, we'll see whether or not he has the stunner just yet. I don't know, or if if he's if he's still using DiBiase's finisher as his as his finish, which is uh, entirely possible. But you know, we're just gonna kind of run through it and see what the you know, like it, it, it. There was there was there was no video package. There was no you know build up uh, like the main stuff in Showcase has. Cause obviously, these are bonus matches, so uh, perhaps they didn't want to do that legwork on that stuff. Alright, so we still got the Thez Press, which means we gotta build up our signature here. Um, and that'll be fun. Uh, just kinda try out all our different moves here. Swing a neck breaker. Just gonna go through, go through kind of the whole, the whole list here. What's, what's left, what's right, what's up, what's down. Uh, and see what it gives us. Uh, I don't know if that was an accurate or not. WWF referee shirt at the time. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, whoa, Salvio. Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, that sucks. Spine buster. Don't think so. What do we got here? Wrench that neck. I always like the... Yokozuna nerve pinch. I always, I always thought that that looked real fucking painful back in the day. Uh, it's not what I hit, but okay, sure. Okay, so now we hit our Thez press as soon as Savio gets up here. Uh, come on, son. Here's to you. Hey, Savio. Lou, Thez, Press. Alright. What do we got after that? Dam uh, again with the damage to Salvia Vega. Alright, well. I guess we'll just do a finisher here. Why not? That should get that meter to fill real fast, right? Yep. Million Dollar Dream. I don't actually want to submit him, though. I guess that's, that's, that's the problem. Alright, so we don't have our stunner yet. That was not at WrestleMania 12. It's not, not a thing you can do, so... Good to know. Good to know. Alright, different different taunts uh, for this era. Boom, with the Bulldog. Let's go to the top rope. See what we got. The ropes are freaking out. Whoa! Dropping the big elbow, Bret Hart style. Um... Alright. Irish Whip Salvio Vega in the ring! I can do that. Let's see what kind of cutscene we got here. Woo! Back body drop! On the outside, being controlled by, of course, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Everybody's got a price. Everybody has got a price. All the spinning leg kick into the ref. Ref bump. I never quite liked when they put stuff on the canvas. Like when they, when they had like the logos on, on the canvas. And it didn't matter who or where. I just never quite liked it. So I, know, I know that they were doing it for a while in TNA with like their sponsors. Where it's like, you know, the, 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 the canvas said five hour energy. And I didn't like it when they did it in WCW. And here, you know, with the Mania thing on the... I, I don't like it on the canvas. I like a nice, clean, blank canvas. 
That's just me though. Just just my opinion. And there is the dream. But he's out. He's out. Get that ref up. Get him up. Wake up. Travesty. Two, two, three. Done. Cobra Clutch, baby. That sounded like it might have been actual audio and not, you know, uh, having Fink in the studio. So. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Alright then. <clears throat> and then back into the menu. Yep. Just unceremoniously dumped back into the menu. That's fine. Alright, so we got two more, and I'm going to try to knock out both of those two more tomorrow. So, t tomorrow, uh, Austin versus Mikey Whipwreck, and Austin versus Brian Pillman. So look forward to that tomorrow. I will tell you that I am your host, Attack Slug. This has been the bonus matches in the 2K Showcase, 2K16, yada yada yada. Uh, after the bonus were done, after we're done with the bonus matches, then the my career begins. So look forward to that. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.